unreal. We just arrived here in La Vontana 12 hours later. Quite the trip, but so worth it. Humid, uh, warm to like 30 degrees and sun is setting, so pretty cool. Time to relax tonight, just get all the gear organized and just get ready for tomorrow. Get ready for the next epic three days of spearfishing. La Montana, Baja, Mexico. Let's go, baby. To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the night And I can feel the sun on my skin are too, uh, too good to pass up, so we're gonna head straight for them. And supposedly it's like a, a one in a hundred year for, for these fish here. It's supposedly just unbelievable. So we're heading straight to Magi and gonna get right into the action. Man, what a freaking day. Unbelievable. Gonna head out and catch some bait fish here for the mahi mahi. This morning half so clear a lot as any to see the horizon and the far. Excuses were two for a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I feel the wind on my spot and we're into fish. Dorado everywhere. Big ones. Just get the gun ready and I'm off in the water. But Dana just got broke off. Spear need break. Euro 75. Hopefully it performs. Gonna flip the have the reel ready to be flipped but some huge fish here. Our guides dropped us out in the blue water in about 300 feet. Nothing below us except bait fish and whatever else you could imagine. It took me about 30 minutes to try and process what was going on. And once the adrenaline faded, I started throwing the flasher. Splash. You watch it go down, just waiting for something to come check it out. You would wait a few seconds and then go grab it and do it again. After about the third throw, a mahi appears, and another one, and another. I was in the school. Now, just to find a mature fish to shoot. I noticed a sardine to my left, so I settled in and got ready for a larger fish to follow. And sure enough, in a split second, I was lining up my shot. Boom. Perfect shot. Absolute chaos. Trying to wrestle a 25 pound fish underwater with a spear is insane. My buddy Dana was watching the chaos from the surface and was able to quickly get a follow up shot to secure the fish. You have to keep tension on the line, but not too much that you tear the spear from the fish. Once I played the fish for about 10 minutes, it got tired. I managed to bear hug it and throw it in the boat. Unreal, my first mahi mahi on the spear. I was absolutely pumped. And after taking a few minutes on the boat, taking it all in, and snapping a few pictures, Dana was hooked up on an absolute monster. Trying to return the favor, I duck dived down to his fish at about 10 meters. Boom, perfect.
perfect shot. This fish was huge. It had at least 10 pounds on mine. You have to be so careful because a fish this size wrapped around your ankles will take you straight to the bottom. We played this fish for over 15 minutes. And eventually the fish tired. Dana was able to tow it in, get a hold of the spear, get his hands in the gills and bleed it out. remarkable fish and in our friendly competition Dana had us beat but the guides put us on another large fish and I stuck to my tactic following around this small sardine knowing that the big dominant fish in the group is going to come check it out and sure enough that's exactly what happened Fish on, but my shot was low. I knew I had to call to Dana to get a second shot in this fish as quickly as possible. He jumped in the water, not even suited up. I was letting the fish run, trying not to put any tension on it. The spear was hanging by a thread. Dana carefully crept in, just to distance. And made a perfect shot. <laughs> 20 kilos. So was that 40 pounds? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 40 44. Pounds. Oh, crazy. Beautiful colors. Such a fun hunt. Like I've never been on a spearfishing trip where it's that much action in the water. <laughs> like it's just go, go, go. From trying to spear them to trying to land them. Unreal. Hold them sideways? In the boot, they just taste amazing. That'll be quite a few good meals. Unreal. Unreal. Second spot here. We're gonna do some deeper dives and try to go after uh, pargo and, and snapper, red snapper. Um, all those tasty reef fish, so visibility looks good. It'll be about 40 to 60 feet and be able to sit on the bottom. Waiting game, so it should be fun.